Yo, welcome back. This is your boy Fireworks, and this is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. I got my girl White Gold here with us today. And yesterday they dropped the first trailer or the new trailer for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. All right, so it better not have Trey songs in here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, react to this. I'm interested in seeing. I've heard a lot of rumors about it. I'm a you know, I'm a horror buff. That's my shit when it comes to the movies. Uh, superhero movies because here lately they've done them correctly uh, growing up majority of my life I've been a horror movie buff I would pick horror movies to watch uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre has been going on for a long time there's like so many movies they hate the one with Trey songs in it um, and I forget the other girl who, who had a bunch of acting deals in the 2000s around that time too I forget what her name is but uh, this story is a weird one um uh, when I was younger and they had the movie where it, it looks like he was getting uh, drugged down the steps and his nails came off on the steps. I don't know which Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie that is, but I loved that movie until I got on the Internet and read that it wasn't a true story. And it, in the movie, it says it was based on a true story. Now, I know how they did when you were younger. They got you. Now I'm older. I didn't really understand it then. Wasn't, you know, but at the same time, they just, did that with the um, like the what was it? Paranormal activities. Well, I don't feel like those were real either. I mean, there's obviously paranormal activity right. in the world, but this particular story. Like, the, the, the way they did it with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, because there is, like, you know, a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but, like, it has been dramatized past its point for years. I don't know what this Netflix series is going to do with this shit. This is Netflix, and no offense to Netflix, okay? Because y'all y'all got a clean slate for now until y'all get Power Rangers out. We're going to see how this Texas Chainsaw Massacre they is going to do. They have a lot of good stuff, but they cheese up a lot of stuff, too. And what's crazy is a lot of movie studios are... The thing that's good for Netflix right now is a lot of movie studios are offering them their movies because they don't want to take the, the huge loss on box office. So there's a lot of because movies... Of streaming. There's a lot of movies. Well, they, they think that... They think that some of these movies, because of the lack of moviegoers at, at, right now during the pandemic... They thinking that if you slot them to Netflix or put them on a big streaming platform like that, that they could maybe do better than what they would do in box office now on Netflix. So it's like, should I go movie route like I always do it and then see if it takes the L or should I just go straight to Netflix? Shit, what was COVID when Spider-Man came out? <laughs> no one cared. I mean, it's just that big of a movie, though. It's like, it's so big. Like that movie was, it's hard to put. I don't even know if they would have done like I think Endgame would have been as fat still if it wasn't or if COVID was going on during that time. I think it would have still been that. Uh but I, I'm interested in seeing how this Texas Chainsaw Massacre goes. I don't I don't really know how this is gonna hit. So we're gonna I'm interested to see what this trailer has got to offer for me since we have been a long time from Texas and the chainsaws. All right. So before, And the massacres. And, Can't and, forget about the massacres. And the massacres. So before we get into this, make sure you guys are hitting the like button, all right? Leave a like on this video. Make sure you guys are hitting subscribe and tap that notification bell. That way, when we do a video just like this, that you all will get it first, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this reaction. And also, make sure you guys are checking out We Trap Music, our sponsor, on all social media platforms. And I'll have those links down in the description, okay? And our Patreon. Yeah, make sure you guys check out our Patreon. I'm Fireworks. This is White Gold. And this is Snoop is going to Snoop YouTube channel. This is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2002 trailer. Let's go. Snoopers gonna snip. Snoopers gonna snip. Snoopers gonna snip. It's not your bitch. Ouch. <gasps> is that Margie? Margot Mar Robbie. Margot Robbie. Is it? It looked like it. I don't think so. What is that? Oh shit. So Harlow is a ghost town. We have a vision for this place. All it needs is young blood. I don't want to live here. This is a chance for people to start fresh somewhere. Somewhere safe. Not safe. Hey guys. You should see this. What are you doing in our house? Right. We I was about to just go here. in. Oh my god. Ooh. The 
it's just harder. To Ooh, okay, don't Evil Dead. And don't breathe. I'm afraid your old friend's back. Fifty years I've been waiting for this night. Fifty years. Just to see. Okay, Demi Lee. Demi Lee Garvey. Cancel, bro. Oh, fuck. You don't even know the word cancel. Fuck you, me. All right, you guys. So I'm going to be real with you. I'm a little interested. My horror horniness is a little tickled. I can't even lie. I can't even lie. I don't know. It said returns. I don't know if this is a new story which could be, or did this take place in the middle of those other stories that we got? If this is a newer story, I might be here for this. Well, what I gathered is it's like the same, but 50 years later. Like, cause she said, I've been waiting 50 years for this night. So. So is it like from the OG? I guess. Original? Like, is that what they doing? Cause remember when Dizzy, well, they, you know, we and Dizzy talked about how they not necessarily revamping but they're like rebooting or like i don't know how you what you call it but like halloween yeah they're scrapping the other movies that they did beside the first two and then halloween kills and halloween ends it's gonna fit in that thing just like what they did with ghostbusters they had the women's ghostbusters movie that came out which wasn't really that bad still not the movie that you needed for that ghostbusters trilogy but afterlife is the one they needed i'm not gonna spoil it for you if you haven't seen it, but if you are a Ghostbusters fan, they reprised or added that third thing to call it the trilogy. Now, when you watch Ghostbusters 1, 2, and then Afterlife, it feels like a trilogy. That's mm -hmm. the movie they had been trying to make for 20-something years, and Harold Ramis passed, and you know different people have passed in doing it, but this thing with, with, with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, is it like, yes, she'd been waiting 50 years, so like is the story talking about him returning from the movies that we watched, like him still being alive, or is this like reprising one of the movies, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and this is gonna be like considered now the real second one or the real third one, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Uh, but you all let us know down in the comments how you feeling about this Texas Chainsaw Massacre, because at first going into it, I didn't know what the hell to think, I didn't know what it was gonna be and how Netflix was gonna do this. Uh, I'm very afraid of Netflix right now. They have my favorite, one of my favorite franchises, uh, in their hands, which is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I'm 32 years old, and I'm going to tell you something right now. There's not much more that I know of than Power Rangers. Maybe Dragon Ball, maybe some music, but Power Rangers is possibly top three, one of the top three biggest things that's ever happened to me. And they have the franchise in their hands. Netflix does. And Netflix said that they're going to reboot the series. They're not, you know, starting from what they had and time traveling and doing all that, they're starting an entirely new Power Rangers universe. And I'm very afraid for this because of the last movie. So it'll be uh, interesting to see how, um, <coughs> it'll be interesting to see how Texas Chainsaw Massacre does. Um, but as far as the trailer is concerned, I think they pulled it off. I mean, shit, it made me want to, interested me, got my horror horny a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially the bus scene, like that's modern. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Everybody like, got their phones out. That's what I want to see. Like, I want to see modern characters I grew up on, how they handle today's shit. Like, I would love to see Jason in supernatural form, not like realistic form, like from the 2009 movie that they did. Like, I'd rather see Jason Voorhees like they did Michael Myers in Halloween Kills. Like, I want to see a, a full-on movie where Jason is fucking shit. I mean, fucking shit up. Because he's the baddest. Like, I think he's the baddest. So if they're going to do it for Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you know, maybe down the road we'll get, you know, maybe a reboot of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street or maybe we'll get the reboot of Friday the 13th. But I'm interested. I think it'll be, I don't think it'll do well. I think it'll do better than I thought it would be. And uh, so you all let us know how you feeling about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. If you a fan of the franchise, what's your favorite movie or excited 
for this new show or series or movie. I think it's a movie that drops February the 18th. So y'all let us know down in the comments, all right? And before we get out of here, make sure you guys are leaving a like. Make sure you guys are hitting a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are hitting subscribe and tapping that notification bell. That way, when we do a video just like this, you all will get it first, okay? So make sure you all stay tuned. We got more coming. We got Boba Fett tomorrow, Peacemaker Thursday, and Friday. Uh, I think we'll pick back up maybe uh, with the Silver Surfer and Fantastic Four. Or I might start, we might start X-Men. Uh, because there's been a lot of X-Men talking Doctor Strange here lately. So I'm Fireworks, and this is White Go, and this is Snooper's Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. And we out. Snooper's Gonna Snoop, Snooper's Gonna Snoop, Snooper's Gonna Snoop. It's not your bitch.